My son Sammy named this the nut kraken after the the sea monster. You can see here the lovely striations on the base. How those are formed is with a gas cutter and what I do is just draw a circle and then use the gas uh, to cut through the steel in a circle and then obviously when I complete that circle the uh, steel drops to the floor there we go yeah that does take quite a lot of practice to be able to to do that in one go now I put the blocks into the gas forge and they uh, have to stay in there for about 20 minutes or so and they come out extremely hot as you can see uh, I carefully position a steel ball which is the same size as the um, the ball that I end up enclosing in the nut kraken and that is brought down with a huge amount of pressure on a very very large press hydraulic press you can see it deforming there and the scale coming off the side I have to do it in stages as why the ball can get stuck Now the ball gets so hot that in order to do another one, so I made, I made four or five prototypes, uh, I had to cool the ball each time. So you can see now that I've just put a cup of cold water underneath the press and then bring down the ball so it goes into the water and uh, that water ends up going from cold to boiling uh, pretty much instantly um, but it does it does cool the ball down ready for the next one to to go in uh, next I make the tapers on some steel bar I'm using a uh, what's called a die set on a power hammer here um, it's got a flat side nearest to us and a slightly chamfered side again this looks pretty easy on the video but uh, it isn't again it's one of those things that takes takes a lot of practice get them roughly to shape on the power hammer and then when they're just about there I heat them up again There you go. see I've just about got it right there yeah, so yeah heat them up again and um, just finish them off with the hammer on the anvil all these hammer marks incidentally are, are revealed in the final finish the, the way that I've finished the the nutcracker with a, a, a totally clear lacquer means that all the hammer marks uh, all the little kind of imperfections if you like are, are all showing give it a great character now I'm just bending the tapered bits of bar obviously three per nutcracker just cutting them to length there um, putting a uh, stamp on the bottom so you uh, you know it's by me J-A-Z it's reminiscent of Albrecht Dürer's um, logo or he wouldn't use the word logo I'm sure um, here we are, 
I'm just taking the corners off the what will become the bottom of the tapered bar. Um, now I'm just grinding that smooth. This is speeded up. It takes a while actually to do this. Um, and then a, a sanding disc. And then I drill a hole. And the, that one's now ready to weld onto the side of the block. So very carefully positioning the block and the taper I uh, weld. I'm using two lasers here, a, a laser plumb bob from above that you can't see and a, another laser, a laser to keep it directly upright. Once all three are welded on, um, I obviously over weld and then grind flat so you can't see that weld at all. Um, I go along with a grinding a wire brush and there it is. That's the finished article. And uh, you can see here the the way that all the hammer marks are revealed and that lovely gas cutting is shown. Thank you.